So with this bumper sticker, of course, I get asked all the time, how does this grease car work? Let me show you. This is a 40-gallon uh, tank. And as you can see, there's where the uh, oil goes into, the filtered oil. This is the uh, gauge to tell me how much oil is in there. And then over here, a pressure release valve. And that makes sure that this uh, tank doesn't get too uh, pressurized. The way that this system works is that basically you want this vegetable oil to be as hot as possible before it gets into the engine so that its viscosity and the way it atomizes is the same as diesel. And one way to do that is to use waste heat from the engine and pipe that all the way into this external tank. And the way uh, Grease Car has designed that is by using a hose and hose design where the coolant from the, uh, that cools the engine uh, goes around the fuel line. And so there's actually a fuel line that goes through this coolant line into the tank to pick up the fuel. And the coolant itself runs in the tank as well. Basically there is a copper coil inside this tank which is uh, a good way to transfer heat into the vegetable oil without, uh, of course, mixing the coolant with the vegetable oil. So that actually is a closed, is a loop, closed loop, and that's not going to uh, mix up with the fuel. And so it runs right into the tank, and then it runs out back into the engine so that it gets reheated, and it just keeps cycling through. And so basically you're just teeing into the coolant system and that way the oil gets hotter and hotter. So here's where the uh, coolant hoses with the fuel line inside of them goes underneath the truck to the front. So this ensures that the fuel stays hot the whole way from the tank all the way up to the injection. And so here this is where one of the coolant lines comes into the uh, and it goes around the fuel filter, the oil fuel filter. And as you can see here, the fuel filter has a uh, temperature gauge, so that tells me how hot is the oil inside the fuel filter. And because this filter here is using a coolant coil, that is a natural way of using the waste heat of the engine to heat up this fuel filter. Now, then the fuel does have to run a bit, you know, from the uh, lift pump down here in the bottom. I use the lift pump to draw the oil towards the injector and then finally I have what's called a veg therm and that is a uh, electronically heated pipe basically that makes sure that the oil that's going into the injectors is really really hot because it may have cooled off a little bit especially during really cold days it may have cooled off a little bit from the, uh, the lift pump all the way to the injector pump and then there's these two solenoids and one makes sure that you switch from diesel to vegetable oil and the other one is for the return line to make sure that when you finish off at the end of the day that there's no vegetable oil left in the fuel lines going towards the injection pump so that it's all back to diesel and so that's pretty important and it's uh, grounded here on the side because you do not ever want the um, solenoids to get ungrounded and not work. That happened to me, so. And then finally I have a pressure gauge here that just tells me when the filter is starting to get too clogged because then it's harder and harder for the oil to get through. And that happens in my case about once a year I've, I change the filter. So, you know, three to five thousand miles. That's when I change the, uh, the uh, vegetable oil filter. So from the dashboard here in the cab, I can do a couple of things. I can turn on the veg therm, which allows that last little boost of heat. So it allows me to switch over to vegetable oil a little bit quicker. And then here's the fuel gauge. And here's the on button for switching to vegetable oil. And then the purge button. And then um, in the middle is the uh, regular going back to diesel. And then here on the other side, I've got the uh, temperature gauge and this is the temperature of the 
fuel by the time it's in the uh, fuel filter, the oil filter at the front. So that gives me a good idea of how hot the fuel is and then uh, I can determine whether or not to use the vegetable, the veg therm to boost that fuel temperature or just, uh, you know, once it's hot enough then I can turn this electronic heat thing off because the uh, motor will be so hot and the fuel will be hot enough to where I don't need to worry about um, giving it an extra boost in temperature.